Alright guys, what's going on? Today I've got another video for you. In today's video I will show you how to install mods for the uh, Battlefront 2 on the Mac. Um, it's actually quite simple. It's relatively similar to installing any other mods for other Star Wars games like Knights of the Old Republic or anything like that. It's just you'll need a third party application like Crossover or Wine. So I'm going to show you guys how to do this with Crossover. Um, the first thing that you're going to want to do is go to your Battlefront 2 folder, wherever that might be. So for me, it's in Steam, um, Steam Apps, Common, and Star Wars Battlefront 2, and then Game Data. So what you're going to want to do is make an add-on folder and title it exactly like that, A-D-D-O-N. You don't have to worry about these two and threes. I just made these so that I can switch through mods if I ever need to. So once that's done, what you're going to want to do is first I will show you the Dark Times 2 Rising Sun mod. So what you're going to go ahead and do is download the mod here. Go ahead and download now. Uh, once it loads, file friends kind of slow. It's just how it's always been. So you're going to go ahead and click OK. And I will be back once it's downloaded. Alright guys, so once you have that download, what you're going to want to do is go and find that in the um, in your finder or whatever you saved it. So let's go ahead and look up Dark Times 2. And it'll be somewhere here. So Dark Times 2 Rising Sun. Now what you're going to want to do is double click on risingsun.exe and you're going to want to open up with Crossover. So Crossover might take a little bit of time to open up. It's always random honestly but I'll be back once it opens up alright so once it's loaded up you're going to want to go ahead and click install so once this pops up you're going to want to choose your language um, since I speak English of course I'm going to choose English so you're going to go ahead and click OK now this will pop up you don't have to worry about this big, big blue screen doesn't matter um, go ahead and click next I accept next next and depending on your location for your game, um, you're going to keep this the same. But for me, since I have it through Steam, I'm going to go ahead and go Browse. Um, we can click the minus there. Click this slash. Go to Users, the Parents, or whatever your um, user is. Now for me, since I have it located on the desktop, I'm going to go there. Um, Steam Build, Drive C, Program Files, Steam all the way down to Steam Apps, Common, Battlefront 2, and Game Data. Go ahead and go and click OK. Now all this will show up. Alright, now that all of that's right there, you're just going to go ahead and click Next, and then it'll install. Now for me, I'm not going to do that because I already have the mod installed, and I don't want to mess anything up right there. So, after that's done, I'm going to go ahead and download the um, 1.3 patch right here. I will link you to it down in the description. Alright, so once you find it, you're going to go ahead and open it up. Now, Crossover will open it again. So you're going to want to click Proceed or Install, whichever shows up there. Doesn't matter. About the same thing. <clears throat> so, the bar will go halfway again. Um, well, usually, you know, but anyways, so this will pop up. Go ahead and click next, next. Now change this to whatever your previous, um, installation location was for dark times two. So I'm going to go users, whatever your user desktop or wherever you downloaded it from steam build 1.3 drive C program files, steam, steam apps, common, Star Wars Battlefront 2 and click game data. Now you're going to click OK. Click next. And now this um, will change uh, pop up. So now you can go ahead and add in whatever you want. I would recommend keeping all of this the same. The HUD is great and also disabling the awards graphical effects are also great because that removes like that red bubble or blue bubble that you get when you get an award and also removes the annoying sound. 
You can include the detailed docs and modding guides, it doesn't matter. Um, I do that just so you can read this after you download it. So you're going to go ahead and click next, but now again I won't do that because I've already um, installed the mod a long time ago. So you're going to go ahead and click done. Now the next mods that I'm going to be showing you are the conversion packs. These add in um, all of the Knights of the Old Republic eras and Battlefront 1 maps and so much more including a few new maps. So what you're going to want to do is go ahead and download that. And once it's downloaded, you're going to go ahead and search for that. So let's go ahead and search for Convo Pack. Oops. Right down here. Open again. <clears throat> go ahead and proceed slash install. and crossover will open up the window again sorry it's it's a bit slow whenever I record I think but anyways now this will show up go ahead and click English next I accept next next and what you're gonna wanna do is so go to the same exact location that you've done for the past two times. I know guys, it's, it takes a while. Um, so we're going to head and go do the same thing all the way to Steam, Drive C, Program File, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Battlefront 2, Game Data, click OK. You're going to go ahead and click next and install now. Again, I'm not going to do that because I've already done that a million times. <laughs> um, go ahead and click done. And once you're done w installing that, <clears throat> going to go ahead and install the conversion pack patch 2.2. Now, this is basically necessary. I mean, this adds in a lot more and fixes a ton of things. So you're going to go ahead and download that. And then you're going to look up wherever you installed it. So for me, I'll just look up the Compact because that's the name of it. 2.2 patch open. Now, once again, crossover is going to open. And you're going to go ahead and click install or proceed. <clears throat> my bad, I have to clear my throat a little. All right. So now, once you do that, you're going to go ahead and click English again. Next, I accept. Next, next. And for the final time, you're going to go to the same exact location that you've installed the other mods for. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Desktop, Steam, Drive C, Program Files, Steam. Steam Apps, Common, Battlefront 2, and Game Data. Click OK, Next, and then Install. And once again, I'm not going to do that because I already have it. So that concludes this episode of how to install mods for Battlefront 2 on the Mac. You can also do this through Wine, but I prefer Crossover. I think it's much easier. And also, once you do that, you can install every other mod, and that's exactly how you're going to install it. Unless it's just a drag and drop, then you could just do that. But anyways, that again concludes my episodes. Um, episode, my bad. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you in my next video.